today we have a massive box from Diecast Karu. Let's get right into it. He's helped me get some stuff. Or, well, not just any stuff, some amazing die cast. And we're gonna go right through it because this is gonna take a while. So, special thanks to Die Cast Car Guru. This video is sponsored by him. <laughs> now, th this is also gonna feed a lot of videos to come because a lot of this stuff is gonna get reviewed. Or, actually, I'm pretty sure all of it will get reviewed. On the channel at some point so we're gonna start right on top he sent me over one of these thin paint markers for uh extra detailing because i've been messing around with sharpies but of course sharpies are kind of lackluster especially in their finish so we're gonna be trying out this on some future customs i'm totally excited to do that should be awesome now we have a whole slew of matchbox models these yeah, I'm going to be loaded for the start of 2024. And uh, speaking of 2024, we have the first 2024 Matchbox new model. We, he had to cut the cards to fit them all in here. And uh, I would show you the new for 2024 logo, but it is not here. But that's okay because I collect the models, not the artwork. Super excited to get this Porsche opened up. So that one is a case for or mix one for 2023. I don't know. He has Mix 1 and Mix 2 in here, I believe. So I don't know right off the top of my head which is which. We'll figure that out as we go. We have the Land Rover Defender 90. This might be my favorite release of this casting, just saying, by far, or so far. Uh, oh, this is the Matchbox. It's a Hot Wheels 1986 Toyota van. This will show up in my next Hot Wheels opening video. I want to get all my 23s out of the package so I can start holding up 24s. Mitsubishi 3000 GT. There is another one in here, too. Uh, yeah, these, this is a gorgeous mainline casting and a gorgeous release. I'm so happy with that casting, and I will collect it forever. So I haven't found any of these 2024s yet. Here's a Ford Ranchero in blue. As far as I know, the wheel variation is not carrying over this year. So it's just one wheel option on this one. So yeah, I haven't found any of these in store yet. So super glad he found extras. And they're actually less than a dollar because of Black Friday messed up the systems or something. So that is not bad at all. Here we have the Dodge Charger. Again, easily best release of this casting. The orange was, and there's only two, uh, three releases. The orange was okay, but this is perfect. I love the green. I love the green. Not, not many cars can pull off green. Lamborghini LM002, the lamb truck. Been a couple years since we saw that casting. Last released in blue in the throwback line. This is actually a 2020. Oh, the, I think the Land Rover, or the, the Lamborghini was a 23. This is a 2023 model. For mix 11, maybe. Here's the Dodge Charger. This is a 24. White with the black rims. I'm trying to figure out what colors they haven't done to this casting. They've done everything. I would take a guess and say they've done everything. So, interested to see what comes next. Here we have the Renault Twizy. In this, actually, it's a really nice metallic um, white or pearl white so super super happy with that release here we have the all great subaru forester 2019 subaru forester super happy with this release too love that blue i think it's pretty accurate to what the real ones have but at the same time i don't remember seeing many real ones in that color and that shade of blue here's the volvo xc40 amazing casting from matchbox actually this is my first time holding in hand it's a lot better than i was expecting and i was expecting it to be awesome and i don't know this is in the running for best it's definitely already in my top three and i don't even have it loose yet tesla model x in a very accurate color I, I, this is probably the most accurate red they've done on a tesla so far, the moving parts Model 3 was really off. But speaking of Model 3, 
Here's the mainline Model 3. It's pretty nice, but I don't know why the window in the back turned to metal. I don't like that. The moving parts casting is definitely better, but this one isn't bad at all. Just trying to figure out where the marker lights are because uh, they're not they're not detailed on the casting. <laughs> There's no markers on there or fog lights or whatever they are. I believe they're fog lights. Here we have the Hilux, and yes, it is supposed to be like an eggshell white. It's not supposed to be like a straight white. Really like this very underrated release. Not many people were on this one, uh, but I sure like it. I sure like it. Love the Hilux. Here we have a CX-5. The Hilux and the CX-5 are 23 releases. These will be showing up in a video very soon. Here we have the NV Van. Los Angeles Tours. This will be a fun one to look at during the review. That's a 24. I know we're pouring through these. Here we have a 911 GT3, which actually now I can't remember if the white one was a 23 release or this red one was a 2023 release. One of them are. One of them is a 23 release. The other one is a 2024, but I can't remember. So you'll know when I do the video. And last for the main lines, we have the Jeep Avenger, which Lamley, these are not sold in the U.S. I don't know what you're on about. Uh, you probably got it confused with the Renegade, but that'd be stupid because Matchbox has done a Renegade. So, we have a couple of the themed Matchbox here. We got the GMC Step Sign from the Fire Country livery, the Country Fire livery, or themed assortment exclusive to Walmart. Brand new Deco as well. And the other brand new Deco in that line. I think one of the fire trucks was new deco, but I just really like the chief cars. This one's brand new. On the Chevy Caprice Classic Police. But I think they can take that police name off of there by now. We got a couple goodies in here, but go straight for the card card stuff. Bam. This is gonna get its own video at some point. It might end up unfortunately being a filler video. That doesn't mean it's bad, but because I normally prioritize Matchbox and Tomica. So if I don't have any Matchbox or Tomica to review, I normally will do an Auto World or Hot Wheels or something like that. So it's not a bad thing if it's a filler video, but just not too much of a priority, but this might prioritize a lot more because this is gorgeous and I can't wait to get it out of the package. Can't wait to get it out of the package. Now we got some loose cars. I'm actually going to put the loose ones aside for now. Just want to run through the carded stuff because we have a lot of loose cars. And uh, a lot of stories to tell with the loose cars. So, the loose cars are kind of acting like packaging in here. Protecting our carded stuff. Yeah, we got a ton of loose cars. So, that's going to be half of this video. Just taking a look at the loose stuff. And I normally give a better look at the loose stuff because I won't be able to do a video on them. Here we have another Matchbox though. The 911 Rally on short card from Walmart. These are the ones that actually were under a dollar. Pretty, pretty cool to have it on a short card though. I like the smaller cards. The European cards that some people call them. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That one I'll probably keep on card. Oh, yes. He told me there was a surprise in here. And this is awesome. So I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand. This might get its own spotlight video all by itself because it deserves it. CCA MSZ Metal Speed Zone. These are 164 die cast. I don't know if they're true 164, but this is a Toyota Camry. You know, pretty boring car in real life, but it's super cool to have in die cast. That's what I say about the Tomica one. It does have working suspension, actually. So this will be totally fun to get out of the package. Of course, these are Chinese die cast. So I'm sure this is probably like a Chinese spec Camry of some sort. But yeah, that will be awesome. That will be pretty unique, and I will most likely be doing it an own video on that. He told me of a little surprise in here. So that is awesome. Thank you very much.
And then we have the other 70th anniversary, the Ford Lightning on short card. I'll probably keep them on the short cards. I like the short cards. And then we have, this is another surprise, but he gave me a hint and I kind of figured it out pretty quickly. The Barago Acura MDX. These things have gotten a lot of attention, at least with my collector group, my buddies, because we like weird cars. So seeing an MDX in 164, this is the only one in 164. So that's awesome. And actually we can take a little sneak peek at it while the box is open here. I will probably definitely be giving this one its own video. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. It's almost like a promotional model. Oh, but yeah, that's not, we're not going to take a good look at it because I need something to talk about in that video and I can't get it back in the box. I love the new Barago style packaging though. This is something new they started doing with 2024, these boxes, and I think they're awesome. They got a lot of new castings in this line. This one just happens to be a repeat from previous years. So you can get that one on two different packaging, really. And now we got some Tomica. We have the new, new, new Nissan GTR because they've updated it so many times. This is your regular release. Let's see if I can find the first color. Uh, oh, here's the first color. So you have, so they're going for like R34 colors here. So this is supposed to be Bayside Blue. And then this one is supposed to be Dragon's Breath. Or no, not Dragon's Breath. Millennium Jade. Dragon's Breath is like the copper color. Uh, Millennium Jade is like this green-ish color. So yeah, super excited to take a look at those and kind of compare them to, compare them color-wise to what I have around. Here we have the Toyota Hiace Mountain Rescue Vehicle. Of course, just a mountain rescue vehicle, but it is a Toyota Hiace. And like I said, the Hiace is our true 164 scale. Absolutely love the mountain rescue vehicles. I have a couple of them. So this one will fit right in. And of course, I love the Toyota Hiace. So that's a win-win. Just need a JAF Hiace. Or not a JAF one. Oh yeah, JAF one would be cool. Uh, Nexon Hiace, or Nexco Hiace. Here we have a Tomica Premium Subaru and present WRX, just like a base, more so base looking. I mean, it's still turbo, but you know, not flashy like a STI. And I, I really like this one. I like the rim choice. I like the color choice. Super excited to get this one out of the package as well. And the Nissan GTR, I think I got this for the Black Friday sale that he gets his Tomicas from. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll send you the money. So, uh, yeah, I didn't have the GTR. And I think this is one of the better Tomica Premium models. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, keep, grab it. <laughs> Might as well. It was on sale. Uh, I didn't have it. Tomica Premium isn't my biggest focus, but when they do like some pretty interesting vehicles, I always, I always grab them. I always grab them. Let's see, let's see. Where's the other X-Trail? Oh, here it is. We got the Nissan X-Trail. Or Nissan Rogue if you're in the US. But X-Trail pretty much everywhere else. Oh, and Canada calls it the X-Trail. Or Canada calls it the Rogue now. They used to call it the X-Trail up until 2016. So these are awesome. I heard Diecast Cugger really likes them. So I'm going to be interested to see what I think of them. But yeah, those will be their own video. Yeah, that's just gonna be a ton of videos here here we have the cx5 road patrol car see this is the nexco but not totally licensed nexco i really want to see that on the high ace that'd be amazing love these nexco cars though so i i have a good handful of them now this one enters the tomica lineup just as the nissan el grand road patrol car is going to be phased out in 2024 so that's pretty sad because i love the el grand casting and now it will be pretty much out of production. They've done the sign set one, so they can bring it back whenever they want, but they just don't really often. <laughs> Here you have the BMW i4. This is a new model for 2022, I believe. So we'll take a look at that one. I heard that one's pretty underwhelming with the decals. This was a 2021 new model, as it says here, the Lotus Elise Sport. I really did like this casting, but at the time I was only purchasing the Japanese Tamaka models, the, the car sold in Japan.
but lately you know now that i have a job and have a little more money to spend you know not like not what's the word not like stupid spending or unresponsible spending but you know a little bit more that i might be getting the non-japanese models from here and out because they are pretty nice and i did really like this lotus casting I think they did a really good job on it, so I can't wait to get it out in person. This is another one I think they did a good job on, the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTR. And also, I really like the real car, which is not typical of me, but I do do really like the real car. So, I would be pretty excited to check out that one. And I have seen the real one in person. They're gorgeous cars, gorgeous cars. Another premium, this is the Lancer Evolution Final Edition. This is a 2020 three new casting and i think it's an awesome release i love the the dark the gray gunmetal with the black accents it's a awesome release and i think it's in scale with the mainline casting a couple more atomicas here we have the corby which is a toyota town ace camper which is pretty freaking cool i really love this I really love this idea, this design. Tomiko used to do stuff like this back in the day. They don't do it anymore often, but I love that they still keep up on it just a little bit. Here we have the other GTR casting, the Nismo. I think this thing looked amazing out of the box. I can't wait until I get this one out as well. I know I can't wait, can't wait. And the last two Tomicas in here, we got the new Toyota Crown, or the Toyota Crown Cross, technically, because uh, the actual Toyota... I want Tomica to do the actual Toyota Crown sedan, uh, because this isn't it. This is the one that U.S. gets as well, which is kind of lackluster. It's not a bad-looking car. I really like the design, but it's not a Toyota Crown by any means. But uh, the colors on these are really nice, and really excited about that red one. We have a couple more boxed vehicles in here, but these aren't Tomica, these are Matchbox. So he took these out of the box, or he took them out of the package to save room shipping. That's the end of the box, by the way. We'll get into the loose stuff in a second. But So I don't know what these look like. <laughs> I don't know what these look like. They're in the box, so I guess it will be a surprise when I, when I do the reviews on them. But there's the Lexus LX. There's the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. At least I don't know what they look like in person. Of course, I know what they look like as the models. Because a lot of people have posted them. And there's the Nissan Z, which is a really nice baby blue. So yeah, can't wait to do those. So much videos coming. I Not even... Not even funny. But it is kind of funny. And of course, with all that comes... Some voting for the best new models of 2023. I'm definitely doing a Tomica one because that one will be hard. Hard for me to pick my favorites, but also are not so much new models, but new releases because like this CX-5 is not a new model, but they call it new because it's a new color. But that will still include that and the Forester as well that applies to the Forester fire truck. Okay, now let's go through the pack, the, the loose cars because they're all baggy so we're just gonna grab them randomly and zip through them like i said that, that'll be in the next half of this video and here we are starting alphabetically correct with a audi for the audi r8 from majorette I'm not sure what release this is you know it's not like tomica i can't really tell you what release it is but it might be a newer one I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is one of the ones from Toys R Us. But I think that uh, might have been a satin blue one that was from Toys R Us. You do get lens headlights. You get all your nice details and trim. You got... Oh, no suspension on this? Oh, man. Nice tail light details. Grill details. Audi badge and all your trim. Your silver trim on the side as well. V10. Yeah, no suspension on this one. Still a really clean model. I think it just needs some smaller rims. That's actually a theme with Matrat, needing smaller rims. Next, yeah, so I don't know what any of these, what which is which, because I really can't see them in the baggies. Ooh. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. 
This must be that blue forester, but died, I believe. I remember him showing me some of these. He, he, he died a lot of those baby blue ones that I showed earlier. So this one, he dyed a purple, and it's actually like a really, it's not like a rich purple. It's like a little plum purple. Not bad, looks really good with the metal flake, and it's kind of got like a satin finish on it. Almost makes it look like a wrap. And of course, when you dye them, it keeps the decals. He freshened them up a little bit because they do like, they get a little, get a little hazy. But yeah, that's awesome. I love the extra layer of depth that these dyed models add to the collections. You know, and you've seen me, I've had the Tomica ones and the, the Matchbox ones, mostly. I actually know he did some Hot Wheels one for me too, like the, oh, what's it? What is it? The Lucid Air. Jeez, I couldn't think of it. Here we have a capsule car. This is a TC. No, it's not actually, because their pan flips are normally colored. This is a Koro Koro collection. Datsu Kopen. And here it is. I'm not going to take it out because I'll lose the mirrors. Well, actually, the mirrors are there, but I'm not going to rip it open, but... I will probably do a video showcasing some of these in the near future because they're awesome. And I have built some other ones like this Honda Beat. Awesome. Also True 164 scale. So it's tiny, tiny little car. So yeah, I'll probably build all of these and then showcase them in a... Again, I don't want to call it a filler video because that sounds bad. But, you know, it'll give me something to showcase when stuff gets a little dry. You know, showcasing stuff from my personal collection. I love doing that. But normally I'm always showing new stuff. But I love these capsule cars. Me and Diecast Car Guru have been all over them lately. So totally fun. But of course they do require some assembly. And uh, I know we've both struggled with them a little bit. Here we have a Mercedes A-Class Tomica. Our friend Nick, that I purchased from once in a while, went to Japan recently, brought back a bunch of stuff. So I'm like, so uh, he showed Diecast Car Guru, and, and then uh, I'm like, yeah, can you grab me a couple of these? And he's like, sure. So this is one of them, because both of mine are pretty used. So this, this one's minty. Oh. Suspension demonstration. Yeah, it's an older 90s casting, specifically 99. Actually, it probably was a 2000 debut. So yeah, they still had pretty good suspension back then. Here we have another one of those from Japan. If I can get it out of the, the wrap. This is a Toyota Sprinter or Sprinter Carby or Carib. Carib, which this is a Toyota Tracel in the U.S. And it's all metal, which I kind of forgot these were all metal, but it makes sense. It's of that era. Love that metallic blue. That's a beautiful color. Tailgate opens. This is a pretty, pretty hard to find casting as well. So love to finally have it, even if it isn't perfect, but it'll, I'll probably keep it like this until I get another one. Suspension is kind of small for a older release but some of them didn't have that much travel but yeah it definitely needs a repaint but i'm gonna leave it as it is for now because i love that blue got another capsule car here oh yeah so these are hustler carabina carabina and yes that does that is supposed to look like a jeep that is an aftermarket body kit for the front ends that make them look like little Jeeps. So kind of cute. But they're also a Daihatsu Hutler. They're awesome. There's your rims. There's your extras. Oh, this one does not have a roof rack. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Now that's going to be an issue because I might be sticking that roof rack on other cars as well, you know, for photo purposes, not permanently. But yeah, I might stick that on a Forester or something. That would look pretty cool, actually. So... I'll probably do a video on that at some point. I know, flyer. 
here we have another capsule. Oh, dropped it. Another capsule car. Oh, uh, yes, this is the Daihatsu Hijet. And this one is like full on. You know, there's your chassis, there's your cab, there's all your small bits, your driver. There's the sides of the bed, and then there's the actual bed itself. So you actually have to assemble this one. Like I said, some assembly required. But it is true 164 scale, and it will look awesome. With background shots and my diorama shots, and I really do need a permanent diorama. Now that I think of it. Now we got another Tomica here. Ooh, this one's minty. I really like this. The Toyota BB in this gorgeous metallic blue. I have a ton of these BBs somehow, and I just keep I just keep finding them. But you got the silver trim on the flares and your side right there. You got your tail lights, which are white actually, which is kind of interesting. I don't know what set this is from. This might be from like the BB set. I didn't. I think they did a collection of four Toyota BBs, and this might be one of them. Trunk opens, and it does have a little bit of suspension. And we'll park it up right there, Daikaku. Here we have a dyed, another dyed custom. This one is the Reynolds Twizy, and like I said, that pearl. The pearl white that they have is gorgeous, and it works so well for the dyed. And actually, it doesn't really affect the decals either. So this looks like a factory release. Just that finish is amazing. So awesome that you can do with these dyed, with dyeing models. Like I said, just adds depth to the collection. So I, I totally would recommend doing it. I would really like to get into it one day, but I spent a lot of money as, in paint as it is. Here we have the Hot Wheels Nissan Silvia from the Nissan pack. I guess he decided he didn't want to keep this one. This is a leeway graphic, actually. Tail lights, and then he painted the front and decals. Blue, and, blue windows. I don't know why they chose blue windows on this, but okay. And then you got Hot Wheels down the side in Japanese. Definitely a very 90s drift livery vibe they wanted to go with this one. And I really like how it turned out. Oh, oh, the base is an interesting color. It's like a purple. I don't think I've ever really seen a purple base from Hot Wheels, especially on a licensed model. I don't know about the fantasy castings, but nothing weird on the licensed model. All right, another dyed model. We have the Jeep Avenger in this orange, like a sunset orange, you know, or like Top Gear says. It's not brown, it's sunset orange. <laughs> this is more so sunset orange. Yeah, again, the decals are pretty much unaffected. They might have gotten a little tinted in the front, but that's not too bad. And yeah, this thing is pretty cool. Can't really tell. It used to be yellow because it's such a pure orange. It's awesome. Pretty awesome. Now we got another dyed custom. Shocker. The this used to be the white 911 that I showed earlier. And now it's in this like nice teal color. Kind of like an egg dye look. I really like how that came out. This is a very Porsche color. By far. Totally like that. And the black wheels make it pop even more. Love that. Running out of room here. This is going to go up front in the parking lot. Here we have an LM002. Just rip it. Just rip it. Oh, is this dyed as well? I didn't really notice that the LM002 is like a flat silver. Yeah, it is. Look at the finish on this one. 
that worked really well. I really like how that came out. That is amazing. What kind of red would you call this? Like a scarlet red? I don't know. That is awesome. This looks like it came out of the factory, the Matchbox factory. Except they can't detail the, these rails as nice. <laughs> they can't. They couldn't do that. They'd only do one side. Wow. That is awesome. We have, we have two little cars in this bag. Oh, okay. So these are... Lar smaller scale stuff that Diecast Car Guru ordered from... Well, pretty much ordered from my dealer. I signed them all and he decided what he wanted. So then he gave me back a couple of them. After he was satisfied with what he had. And here we have a Nissan El Grand from Tomica, Pocket Tomica, or Tomica Jr. Uh, Tomica Jr. Earring. So these were pretty much similar to a full scale, but they actually had suspension. They were metal body, plastic base. Actually, the full scale has suspension too. I said it like they don't. But they did models that the full scale didn't do, like this Nissan El Grand. This is a second generation Nissan El Grand. The full scale only did a first and third, so they kind of skipped the second gen, probably because it was in this line, and they probably expected this line to last a little longer than it did. Uh, unfortunately, it did not. But I totally love those Pocket Tomica. And here's another one. I don't remember what brand this is. It's a Japanese brand of some sort it's on cine cars i uh, yeah i can't remember off the top of my head what it is but they did i think they're unlicensed they did do some interesting vehicles they did r34 which i have and then here's a toyota estima if they did this a second generation estima and yeah so these aren't these actually are probably pretty close to true 164 scale they're not smaller like the tomica juniors but I, I would take a good guess to say that they're pretty close to 164 scale. Maybe a bit small, a bit on the small end. But they aren't crazy far off. Alright, here's another capsule car. But this one's already assembled. But it's in the bag, so I don't know if I'm going to take it out of the bag yet. Yeah. It's a Nissan Z. This is true 164 scale, I believe. This one would be nice to compare to the Tomica. In green with the black, or the, not the Tomica, the Auto World. I can compare it to the Tomica, but the Tomica is larger than this, a lot larger. So yeah, this, this would be pretty cool. I really like that. It'll be fun to see how many Nissan Zs I end up with by the end of maybe next year. Because they are everywhere. I love them. The new Nissan Z is just awesome. Here we have another Subaru Forester. And oh boy. Yes. Yeah, I remember him asking me for suggestions on what wheels. Or, no, I don't know what he said. But I think I just suggested the wheels out of the blue. I said, oh, if you had tinted multi-spokes, this would look perfect. And he's like, oh, wait a minute. I might... Stick them on there. Wow. I love this release. It's not, wait, it's not even a release. It's a custom. <laughs> Told ya. Told ya. Yeah, it's just magic. It's pretty much magic. This is amazing. The fact that this used to be blue. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. I love it. Amazing. Amazing. Got another Pocket Tomica here. This is the Daihatsu Taft. I love the Tomica one. And I'm definitely going to love this one. Oh, he sent me this nice metallic blue. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. And this will be a fun one for the dioramas because these are pretty common cars in Japan. So, 
I can have this one in the background or in the foreground or wherever I want to put it in my diorama shots. It will look perfect. I think that's the last of the capsule cars, unfortunately. Love them. And we're definitely going to have to get more in the future. And I'm definitely going to have to showcase more of them on the channel here. Another dyed model. He went to town recently. And ooh, he's got the interior on this one. Oh, yeah. So he did do the interior on the Silver Forester. I forgot. I'll show that real quick. You probably saw it when I was holding it up. But black dashboard. And he didn't do the... Pro oh, he did do the black deck. The, the, the black dashboard on the blue one as well. Right? Yeah, the top of it is black. Okay. I had to make sure I was seeing all right, because then I saw it on a different angle, and I was like, wait a minute. Another LM002. This thing is just perfect for dying. And they did the red seats in here. This is gorgeous. <laughs> this is amazing. Again, it's hard to tell that this was silver. I think, so I've said it before, silver cars are the best ones to die, but even like that light blue works amazing. And the silver, so any like lighter colors that can easily be covered up are gonna work perfectly, but the silver is gonna provide a nice base, especially if it's like a metallic. Yeah, which is awesome. Now, this one, okay, th this is definitely not a dyed model. This is a complete custom. And, boy, this is period correct. This is perfect. The Eagle, the AMC Eagle from Matchbox. Period correct color as you could possibly be. Now, unfortunately, when you do paint them, you lose the wood trim. And it's nice that it's not embossed into the casting so you can do full colors without the wood trim but yeah i really like how this came out and of course it is a nice metallic color of course it has a satin reflection to it but it is like a metallic purple yeah this is pretty cool i like how this came out i love the casting and i love how just period correct and 70s it is or early 80s i'm sure there's still a lot of influence from the 70s in the early 80s we're still going we got three left i believe there's another custom maisto actually this is the 190 evo a brand new casting for 2023 and diecast cargo did a nice silver paint job on it for me. It looks perfect. I love it. Now, I don't think these were available in silver, but it's still pretty nice. You know, you can quote unquote head can in it. It's a custom. It can be whatever you want it to be. And then uh, it definitely needs a wheel swap though, because my stove doesn't know how to do the wheels. I think he said he's going to leave it unglued so I could swap them. Yeah, my stove wheels need work, but you know, that's that's why Matchbox wheels are so nice. You can stick them on whatever you want. It'll look perfect. We're definitely going to have to get like tinted multi-spokes like these on that Mercedes. That would be awesome. Here we have another Twizy. Again, the Twizzies work so good for the die too. And like I said, I prefer the silver. But... These being white, like, look at that. That's like a chocolate color. I like that. That looks really good. You know, oh, you know what? This is the brownie twizzy. Ooh. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Yeah, like, it's still got that nice finish to it. Oh, my God. No, i put it with the other twizzy. And final model. Dude, I don't know what this is. Got it wrapped up. Really secretive. Ooh, what a note to end this on, too. What a finale. What better finale than a Subaru SVX in this gorgeous green? Oh, my God. Like, this is a spray paint that he's just been loving. And I 
totally back that because gorgeous color. It is a gorgeous color. And it is so perfect for the Subaru SVX. It is so perfect. I love this. He even detailed the base of it. Just moi. Moi. What a note to end this on. That's going front and center. With the Forester. What a note to end it on. There you go. That's the package for Diecast Car Guru. 40 minute video. I knew it was going to be long. And I've got tons of work to do. We got so many good videos coming up. I can't wait. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you very much, Diecast Car Guru. Bye for now, everybody.